finally, here we go. The Adidas Audi Zero Audios Pro. Adidas is officially in the marathon road racing shoe game. What do I mean by that? Well, probably you've noticed when you go, when you watch on TV, the Berlin Marathon, London Marathon, uh, New York City, Chicago, all the big marathons, all the East Africans from Ethiopia and Kenya specifically, they're either sponsored by Adidas or by Nike. Now there are some exceptions to that rule, but Adidas and Nike have been dominating uh, the elite marathon racing scene for decades, not for years, but for decades. So I'm just, uh, I have not been waiting months for this shoe. I've been frankly waiting years ever since, yes, the 4% came onto the scene a couple, uh, three years ago now, approximately, yeah, I think about three years ago, uh, and their carbon fiber plate shoe uh, from Nike. Now they have had some other uh, inroads into the carbon fiber plate scene before this shoe, but now they have the stack height to match the Nike lineup. So let's dive in. Oh yeah, before we dive in, it is now officially, uh, it is not available. It is sold out right now, but I'm going to link down below to this uh, shoe on the adidas.com website in the description in case you want to sign up for emails. Um, I know, I know you, hopefully, you, well, just be, read the fine print because I don't want you to get inundated by emails from Adidas, but they will notify you when this shoe becomes available again if you do want to sign up and give your email. Uh, also down in the description are the chapters for this video. So if you want to jump to the weight of the shoe, uh, the price point of the shoe, uh, my thoughts on the lockdown, and yes, of course, the major, major sizing alert. It's listed down below in the description. So there you go. First of all, today's run, 15 miles, about 635 a mile. So what's happening? I'm tapering right now. Uh, so my long runs are turning into my middle distance runs. So that's why instead of doing what I would typically do, a 22 mile long run, I dropped it down to 15 miles. Uh, so that was that's what I did today in the Adidas Audi Zero Pro for my first impression run. This is not my full review. And let's dive in. Eight millimeter drop from heel to toe. What Adidas is calling 8.5 millimeters. I don't know. I'm just gonna keep it simple. Keep it at eight millimeters. So 39 millimeter stack height in the heel, 31 millimeter in the forefoot. Definitely in that maximalist category for a marathon road racing shoe. And yes, sneaks just under that World Athletics uh, regulation for uh, elite competitors. They, it needs to be under 40 millimeters, so they accomplished that, just like Nike did with the Vaporfly 4%, no, the uh, Alphafly Next Percent. Now, I could not find a weight for a women's size 8. I do apologize. Men's size 9, we're looking at 7.9 ounces or 223 grams. And yes, let's put it on the scale in my size. I weighed it yesterday. It came in at 7. 7.3 ounces, 7.3 ounces or 206 grams. For the upper on the Audios Pro, it's what they call their seller mesh, basically an engineered mesh upper. Okay, and what's jumping out? First of all, wow, breathability off the charts. Really, really good. I could feel it today on the run. Awesome, awesome breathability, especially through that toe box. So if you're running a marathon in hot, oh man. I love this uh, as far as the breathe a bit. And I love the fact that it's white and not black, you know, just to reduce the heat on your feet. Because once you get to mile 21, 22 in a marathon and your feet, you can actually, I felt this before and I don't even live in really hot conditions, but your feet like literally start to burn inside this, not burn, but um, feel like they're, they're overheating inside the shoe. That is not a good situation. So anyway, good work on the breathability Adidas. Now what's really interesting through the eyelet chain, they give you an option on how to, on how you lace up the laces. They have extra holes here on the outside of the eyelet chain in case you want to mess around with um, the, I guess, basically how you're going to lock down the shoe over the top of your foot. And I'm going to come back to the lockdown in a minute. It's a semi-gusseted tongue on one side uh, inside the shoe, but fully gusseted on, I guess it would be the Oh my goodness, the medial side of the shoe. And then, uh, sorry, on the lateral side of the shoe, it's fully gusseted. On the medial side, it's semi-gusseted for the tongue. Onto that heel counter, very flexible. Um, a little bit of scrunching noticing here through, not necessarily through the heel counter, but just to the side on either
either side where your ankle, like the side of your ankle, a little bit of scrunching, not the end of the, not the end of the world, but I don't like how it's kind of collapsing in on itself a little bit there for the Audios Pro. Now I did struggle a little bit with the lockdown. I'll come back to that when we talk about the fit in a minute. Uh, basically, I'm trying, I, I, and this is just my first impression. Maybe I wore some thinner socks today, but I'm, I'm wondering if I need to wear some thicker socks. I'm not sure, but I did struggle with the lockdown in the Audios Pro through that eyelet chain. Oh yeah, just say now, scrunching up a little bit through the toe box. I don't like that when material, when there's basically too much material. But again, I'll come back to this in a second when we talk about the fit. Here we go, Light Strike Pro midsole material, the heart of the shoe. Let's do the durometer test. I haven't done it yet. Interesting, some give. It's got some nice give to it, actually. I like that. Uh, and I'll just say right now, I think this shoe needs a little break in time. It felt a little stiff out there today. It surprised me. It, it just, it didn't, um, it felt like it needed to be broken in a little bit. And let's just, all right, let's do the twist test. It's twisting a little bit, but not too, too much. And then this way, like it's rigid. Okay, I'm not saying it's a good thing. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. But like, as I do this, like I don't want to do it too hard. Um, it's It's got some, it's not flexing too, too much in there. So what are they doing in this midsole? There are energy rods, carbon infused energy rods, five of them to mimic the metatarsal bones in your foot. So there's five rods, so there's, okay. So let's start in the back. Uh, so this is a carbon fiber plate inside here, but it's not all, it's not running the uh, entire, uh, all the way through the midsole. So there's a, there's a carbon fiber plate under your heel to help with stability there through the heel. Uh, it does not connect though to the energy rods, what they call their energy rods, that basically spread out through under under this forefoot all the way up to uh, all the way up to your toes. So there's five rods in there, different, totally different than what Nike's doing, uh, what uh, Saucony's doing, what um, uh, what is the other what what Skechers is doing. So and now I'm just kind of surprised at how frankly rigid these rods feel. It's a little shocking actually. It's very tempting to see how what they actually look like inside there by cutting open that midsole. I won't do that, at least not yet. Uh, but anyway, that is the story on this midsole. I gotta keep testing. But right now it's just, it is feeling a little, a little stiff through the foot strike. Onto the outsole, the bottom of the Audios Pro, you can probably see it there. What's, what, what's the one word jumping out at me? Simplicity and I kind of like it. I like how it, uh, this outsole is just, they're not overthinking it in my opinion. There's a little bit of rubber here through the heel, a very, very slightly decoupled groove here through the heel, which I think could actually be enhanced in future iterations. Like I love a decoupled groove. This one only goes into the heel probably three or four millimeters. I like a decoupled groove that goes in more like six or seven millimeters. So anyway, there is a slight, slight decoupled groove, not much. And then a very flat, basic, simple rubber outsole through the forefoot. And I don't know, man, I, I'll, if it rains in Denver ever, it hasn't rained here in months, it feels like, I will take this shoe out and test it in, wetter condi in wet conditions. Uh, yeah, so anyway, it's a very simple outsole and there is the score on my screen. On to the fit of the Audios Pro. Alert, alert, alert. Okay, now this is my foot. This is me. Okay, look at my thumb test on my toes. I went true to size and I regret it. Okay, rarely do I say this in the studio where I, I did not get the right sizing. I wish I would have gone a half size down, may Honestly, maybe even a full size down. For racing shoes, I prefer a snugger fit. And I am, I was swimming through the toe box and I was, on, I was honestly slipping a little bit through the heel. Major issues. Now, I can't, you know, I don't know what to do at this point. I'm gonna keep testing this size, but um, just beware. Make sure if you, if you buy this shoe at some point that they have a really, really good return policy. I wish I would have gone a half size possibly even a full size down, especially because when I'm doing uh, fast racing, marathon racing, I like to win wear a thinner sock. So that would also impact how the shoe is gonna fit under, uh, how the foot is gonna fit inside the shoe. 
Oh man, not good everybody. I, uh, yeah, what are you gonna do now? Yeah, all I gotta say, make sure you have a good return policy. For the comfort, again, scrunching up through the upper, I don't love that. And again, that, that lockdown through the heel and the heel collar, didn't uh, or the collar of the shoe it just was not screaming comfortable and again the ride of the shoe you know just stiff just stiff but give me time i'll get to i do believe i'll get to 50 miles in this shoe sooner rather than later um actually i bet in the next two to three weeks so i'm hoping this midsole just has a little more of a lively feel uh yeah through the foot strike after 50 miles my positive and drawback as well as durability prediction my positive is that Adidas is in the game. They're in the game. And this is going to impact Nike. This is going to impact all the shoe companies out there. New Balance is coming out with a shoe soon. Brooks is coming out with a shoe soon. So it's just so good to see a major running shoe company get into the game with respect to carbon fiber plates, high stack heights, and it's good for the overall competitiveness on the marketplace. Now, I'm not overly excited at this point about the shoe but at least they're in the game okay and who knows by tokyo 2021 next summer the olympics i suspect that this shoe is going to be enhanced quite a bit for the next iteration before the 2021 uh summer olympics so all right and then my drawback is yes the fit of the shoe the overall lockdown just not not screaming at me 300 plus miles for my durability prediction that's actually pretty good uh, for a marathon racing shoe, I think um, I think there's good, there's going to be good resiliency through this midsole, uh, and yeah, I went on some dirt today, and I'm not seeing any wear and tear on the outsole at all. How will I use this shoe? I would say threshold runs and long runs. Okay, now I'm still testing. I don't know yet if I would use this for let's say even a half marathon race or a marathon race. I, I just don't know yet. Stay tuned and who is it best for? I'm not gonna give you an answer yet. I just gotta keep testing. Price point, $200. There we go. That's way better than $275. Who question, not the question of the day, uh, but who was successful at buying an Alpha Fly Next Percent today? It was released again uh, in the United States through the Nike app. I was not successful. I tried, didn't get one. So anyway, let us know in the comments if you got a pair. That's $275 though versus $200. So there's my score for the price point thus far of the Audios Pro. All in all, final early score is on your screen. I think this shoe would have definitely broken through that seven threshold if I would have ordered a, a, a half size or full size down. And that's why I do the testing for all of you so that you can know that knowledge before you go out and buy this shoe uh, that you might want to really consider half size or full size down. Uh, so not a, not a great first score, but again, we'll keep testing. And that question of the day, I was going to ask a question about running shoes, but decided, you know what, as I continue to discern the DGR podcast, I'd like to hear from all of you, how do you listen to your podcast? What platform do you prefer? There are, th I don't know about thousands, but at least I continue to learn about different ways to listen to podcasts. It's kind of insane. So let us know in the comments. And if I see a trend, that's going to be interesting because I'm, you know, continuing to figure out, okay, how can Demore Global Running successfully roll out a good podcast? So, and that's going to be down the road. I don't know exactly when, but down the road, I'm, I'm continuing to plot it for the future. There you go. First impressions of the Adidas Audi Zero Audios Pro. I'm I'm excited. I'm excited. I know the score wasn't great, but I, I'm overall excited that they're they're in the game and uh, this is just going to be good for the entire marathon racing shoe marketplace. I'll leave it there. I'll leave it there. All right, let's toss it to we'll toss it to the Adidas running shoe playlist adidas running shoe playlist and i do believe now that i have the audios pro in hand i'm going to make an adidas running shoe 2020 vlog very very soon adidas running shoe playlist right there right there right there seek beauty work hard and love each other see you tomorrow